막은 이번엔 나한 번만 봐주라. 응? Hi everyone, and welcome back to Nunes Nunchi Reacts, where I react to some of your favorite K-drama scenes from a mental health perspective. Today, I'm going to react to Reply 1988. I can't help it, there's so much in there. This scene is Sonu, it's episode 19. Sonu is asking his parents, his mom and his stepfather, which happens to be Tech's dad, for permission to marry Pora. But it's a little emotional, and I recall, the reason why I wanna bring this up, because there were some nuggets on how you approach your parents. And then the scene following that is a really powerful scene between him and, and one of his best friends. So let's watch together. You know, son is that good son, the good kid. I love his mom. Mom, please give me a break. I want to marry him with Bora. Give me a break. Silence. Okay, that's really hard when you ask your parents for a blessing. This is 1988, so we don't do that as much now, right? Technically, asking your parents to that you want to marry someone, you just discuss it, right? It's not so much asking permission, but I just think this is a little hard for me to watch because the reaction of the parents are like, silence. Now, obviously, they're going to say something, but I'm just saying, parents... Right off the bat, make it easier a little bit for your kids to ask for something because they're coming to you. You want them to come to you when they need something. I've seen families where kids, kids, you know, again, they could be older, don't come to their parents in a crisis or something when they need help. And, and that's not healthy either. And they end up turning to other sources that are not necessarily healthy or other friends. And then hurt comes from that, right? But the parents find out later. So anyways, again, Sonu is asking for permission. Let's see what the mother said. Sonu야. 너무 성급하게 생각하지 말자. 엄마도 무조건 안 된다고 하는 거 아니다. 네, 저 아직 공부도 안 끝났고 졸업도 해야 되고 앞으로 저할 일이 아마 안 나. 극하고 지금은 니캉 보라캉 그래 눈에 콩깍지가 씌갖고 막 서로 좋아 죽지만 써도 나중 일은 모르는 거거든. 그러니까 이제 천천히, 어? 천천히 그리고 천천히 생각해 보자. 엄마. He's emotional. 나 보라랑 6년 만났어. 그냥. First of all, the mom's handling it well, right? She's kind of saying no, is what I'm gathering here. But in her way of showing understanding, take it slow, but she's not giving him permission either. Just pointing that out. I'm just watching Sonu's face, emotional, right? And here's his rebuttal. Great rebuttal, Sonu. I call them the, you know, the good son. He was always at rock, right, in this in this whole um, series, and just a good friend. And you would see how well he takes care of his younger sister. That was well spoken. Didn't you get a little, I don't know, emotional seeing him to make his? He he's basically pleading with his mom calmly. That's the way to do it, even if because clearly he's emotional. Like he really wants her permission just to date. I didn't realize that. You know, it's not just to marry. He goes, I just want your permission with the relationship. Such a good son. And then he gives a good response saying, I've never, I've listened to everything you've told me to do. 
So it's almost like since I've done everything, not like you, you got to do this for me, but more like I'm just, I'm not asking for much, right? That's, oh my gosh, I, I feel like that's, that's really powerful, right? He's, he's basically saying, this is almost the first time I'm asking you as a favor for me to do something. That makes sense, right? That's his powerful argument right there. Of course, Texas. 엄마가 이번엔 나한 번만 봐주라. 응? Okay, he just said. He has, he said, just this once, mom. I'm like, can you just give me what I want just this once? Oh my gosh. Pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, she's crying. So, hi, Pause there. This reaction video is going to be in two parts because the next scene doesn't really have to do what Sunu asked. So I'm going to pick a pause here to wrap up what I just did, what I just shared. How you approach your parents about something, Sunu just watched Sunu's delivery. Episode 19, or sorry, I'm sorry, episode 20. <laughs> episode 20. Um, my bad, episode 20. He does a great job making his case. You know when you want to say something to your parents, you get a little bit emotional, but not emotional like sobbing per se. That happens, okay? You tend to get a little bit upset when you see their reaction of like, pause. I also want to point something out. When you're bringing up something to anybody, not just parents, got to give the other person time to process, especially if it's something very important. First of all, change. The first response to change is resistance. That is, the, just so you know, understanding systems theory. So if someone is saying, hey, you know, I need you to give me this permission just this once. Can you change your mind just this once kind of thing? Um, he left emotional, but I love the way that he, it was almost like he was giving his mom some time. And then she started, you know, getting emotional about that. So give people time to understand and, and kind of take a moment to think about what you just told them. And don't get upset if they don't give you an answer like that. That's, we love instant gratification, but that's just not realistic. So watch this. That's a great example, just so you know. Now, in the same breath, I want to react and show this next scene, which is a wall, a one flowing scene or several scenes at once about what happens when Sonu um, is approached by his good friend after this scene, right? So you see Sonu emotional. I'm laughing, I think it's so cute. He's in the army. <laughs> okay, so. I believe that parents do that. Try to show that smiley face. But they're emotional when their kids leave, right? So I, I love, I love Chita Harmony. That's her nickname. Chita Harmony. Sonny just had a talk with his mom, yeah, his stepdad. So he's feeling a little bit defeated maybe because he's not sure what his mom's going to say.
just watch the dynamics. Nonverbal's going on here. I'm gonna explain in a second. You're probably like, what's going on? This is a really good scene. Okay, the next scene's good too. That'll be another reaction video. Let me talk about that scene. Sonu needed a friend. After he talked to his parents about getting permission, he felt a little defeated, sad, even not knowing what, what the answer was gonna be. And then you see him drinking at a pojang matcha, right? Classic Korean cultural thing. Chong Wan has to go, but you see him look at his watch and he's like, you know what, I see my good friend, let me join him. You notice no words are said. And maybe Chong Wan doesn't even know what Sun is upset about, because you know he's upset about something because he's drinking and he's sitting there forlorn. I love the fact, just so you know, friends, peers to each other, I get questions about how do I help my friend who's going through a hard time? How do I help my friend who's struggling with mental health or mental illness? Here's what I want to say. It does not always mean you're talking, giving solutions, um, you know, and even saying here's, you know, not just solutions, but just talking at them or sharing with them. Do you know that to me, sometimes being a friend or being there for somebody who's struggling is being with them? That's actually, this is an example of empathy and compassion, really. And you don't, again, you don't need to say something. This world is so much about talking. I understand that, but this is why I want to point out some of the powerful things in Korean dramas. You do not need to talk. He just sat down. They drank in unison. Another show of, I think, symbolism of like, hey, I'm with you, drinking together. Sunner, Sunu, I'm just gonna assume he felt better drinking together with his friend. His friend took the time out to do that with him. So again, friendship doesn't mean talking at or talking with or talking to. It can be sitting with in silence, but being with that person. And do you know that is just as important in mental health? Right, and sometimes you could say the wrong thing. So I don't even think Chung Wan really knew what to say, and that's fine. He was there for him. So hopefully, I'm making that sense to you. That is so important, especially peer to peer. You don't have to be like the advice guru. Just sit with the person, stare at them, drink with them, you know, in moderation, <laughs> and doing things well, or be with them doing something side by side, and that is so important. So that, my friends, was a reaction video on two separate scenes, but Sonu kind of, you know, wanting to see what Sonu's path was and telling his parents about getting permission to get married. So thank you for watching and reacting with me to Reply 1988, episode 20. Join me next time for more reaction videos and subscribe to my channel, Nunas Nunchi.